Bro, I don't give a f Why would he care? Why would Logan Paul care? This is what we call putting a little too much of our emotions on online. Uh, brace yourself. Good job. No, wait, I'm, 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 I'm I, interested. It's a story. I'm interested. It's a story. I just talked to Logan Paul. I mean, like he was just being nice and I get it. Media, whatever, he has to be nice. Before I approached him, he was bragging about making $3 million. I make $100,000 a year. I'm 22, I do make 100,000, that's cool. And I wanna, I wanna act. I wanna, I wanna do these things. <laughs> I'm gonna break down right now. I feel like it's a reoccurring theme on this channel <laughs> where I get, where I tend to show clips where somebody is using intense emotion to try to distract from what they're really saying. And so some people wanted to like look at this guy and like feel bad for him Aww. and everything. But okay, even if you're a person that feels bad for him, one in the chat, if you would never approach your favorite YouTuber and ask them for a job. A lot of you can understand that, but a lot of you wouldn't do that behavior. And this is weird. It's just weird. It's very parasocial. It's, it's very unrealistic. It's very, he watched, you know, Logan and Jake Paul online for many years and felt like he knew them enough to walk up to them and not only just say hi, but can I get a job? And we'll watch some of the other clips, but it also strikes me as very like toxic positivity. Oh, I'm sitting in the cast. I don't even know what to do. Like I did come up here by myself. I do have family, but we're not the closest. And I, I don't have really close friends. You know, there's millions of people trying to do what I'm trying to do. Do I pause it here and then show you guys? Yeah, I do. So let me show I you that part we'll be... that he was just talking about. So this is the day where this video was uh, reported. I am here and um, Dick Paul still hasn't texted me, which... So this is before. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get in contact with him, so... He doesn't know Jake Paul, so him saying... Jake Paul, I'm here. I'm at the fight. This is the night of the Jake Paul fight that everyone was talking about about a week or so ago. He doesn't know Jake. Jake doesn't know he exists. So him saying Jake Paul still hasn't texted me yet, I, I don't even want to just say it's creepy. That's the reason why I said I don't understand this guy's mental state. I'm going to be on his team one way or another. Just uh, if whoever's staying tuned with this story, just, just letting you know I'm going to do it. So... Let's go. No fucks given, son. So AJ is filming this for TikTok because he's about to create his story of how he started working for Jake Paul. Here's part two. I met Dave Portnoy. Um, if you know him, pizza reviews, um, interview with Trump, you know, anything dealing with sports, I just met him. Dave Portnoy is, he goes by Barstool Presidente or whatever. He's the CEO and the executive of Barstool Sports. He knows a lot of people in the industry. He's been around for a long time. He's probably very close with the Paul brothers. Actually, to be honest, I'm kind of shaking right now. I don't know why. This is the first time I ever met anyone famous, honestly. I don't know, how am I going to fucking talk to Jake Paul? I have no clue. I had so much to ask him, but all that came out, and you'll see the video. Uh, nice to meet you. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. Look, I'm trying. Something's happening. Um, like I was walking around Cleveland talking to people. Guys, how you doing? I'm doing Good. videos trying to see Jake Paul. Okay. Are you going to be at Jake Paul's fight? I am. I'm trying to talk to him. All right. Good luck with that. Good luck. Dave said, okay. All right. All right. Good luck with that. Dude, he's literally looking at him like, what does this guy want? You yeah. think it's going to be possible? Yeah. Possibly. possibly. I think it's possible. Yeah, I can't believe I just met you. Nice to meet you, man. I think it's possible I'm going to be able to talk to Jake Paul. Yeah, absolutely. 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 You got I think I'm gonna be able to talk to Jake Paul. You think this is gonna work? Ah. Absolutely. He is interviewing people on the street because in his, in in AJ Wa or Austin Wallace's world, this is about to be a big video, and he's got to prep all of his content for it beforehand. In his in his eyes, he's about to work for Jake Paul, and these are the videos that all led up to it. Yeah. You gonna be able to talk to him? You should be able to talk to him. Yeah. All right, this is Janessa. Do you think I'm gonna be able to? gonna be able to get to talk to him 
Absolutely. Ev, how do, how do you think I'm going to be able to do that? You're going to manifest it. Manifest it? Yeah. Manifest, manifest it. it. Did you jump on stage? Do you think that'll get me clout? No. No? You'll get arrested or something. <laughs> what should I do right now, like on Sunday right now, when I fight? Sunday. Should I just jump on the ring? I mean... Maybe. Whatever it takes. Maybe. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Man. This, is, little, this is his little hype right? up. Yeah. Did he go famous? Did he get a lot Video, of Video, right? Okay, now let's talk about what actually happened. Here's the angle that I want to bring up for this video. I really believe that this is a result of toxic positivity in somebody that um, maybe isn't as socialized or is just very vulnerable to toxic positivity, okay? There are some people that are way more vulnerable than other people, and I think people forget when they're preaching all this manifest and, and that positivity and da 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 that sometimes the wrong people will take it a little too literally. Just watch the clip, okay? Did oh, sneak everything? No, I, no, I didn't. I'm, I quit my job. No, wait, I'm, 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 I'm I, interested. It's a story. I'm interested. It's a story. I, I quit my job legit. Two days ago, I came up here, took a risk. I'm originally from Ohio. Yeah. Did you originally? sneak up here? No, I didn't sneak in here. He did. I, I didn't sneak. He did. He snuck up on stage. This is behind the scenes in the stage after the fight. And he just jumped up there with his camera. And you can also tell by this angle, guys, he's literally in Logan's face holding the camera like this. And Logan is a person that's like a vlogger. Like, he's probably like... Who the fuck is this? And I think also, I have to say that our own naivety has some sort of play here because when you look at this guy, he's pretty normal looking. Some people even think he's a pretty attractive guy. Logan is probably looking at him like, oh, this is a bro, this is a homie, what could he possibly want? He can't be scary or delusional because he doesn't look scary or delusional. But sometimes people don't look the way that they act, which is something pea brain people need to figure out. What do you mean sneak up? Like on, on stage? Are you just like... Yes, I did. You one of, it's I one did. of the sneak, the sneak I'm videos. Sorry, I, I just, did you print the ticket and stuff? No, I just needed to talk to you. I really, I'm trying to talk, talk to your about? brother. I'm trying to talk about business, trying to talk about trying to get a job. Like I want to, I want to do media. I want to. I've been you, trying to. Get, what I have, are you good at? I was having dances. Real, I did Mikey. like What's that. I did, I, I did that video. You know, like going oh, like you, that. Oh, you, oh, you, yeah, you know. Oh, so you really got what it takes? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Then why would I, I, I need a, a mentor? Well, why would I do that? I want to be. I want to be like the fucking roast that Logan throws out. He said, "Oh, you got a TikTok, so you do the da, da, da. you really you think you think you got what it takes? Like, I mean, Logan wants to roast the." fuck out of this guy because it's really creepy he's really uncomfortable and i'm sure he has a lot more to say but that's all that comes out and honestly mad respect because he handled this as well as he could it's a, it's super uncomfortable dude i bet. can't be a mentor right now right in my life i'm a fuck up Yo. myself you know what i'm saying like i need the connections work and you need you. people be no, around you, no, you right? no i didn't have connections and people around. i have jake that's it you have a brother Do you have people you, friends i don't I don't. Friends? You got, a, you got friends, you got a big I ghost. don't. You don't have friends? I don't. I swear to God. I'm here by myself. I'm here by bro, myself. Where are you from? I'm from Norwalk, Ohio. Bro, you're a good looking guy, bro. You have friends, bro. You're fucking lying. You have friends. <laughs> go, go make content, do stuff with your friends. I'm glad you quit your job. It takes balls to do. See, this is the same. This is what I'm talking about. Like when people look a certain way, because this guy kind of looks like Logan or he looks like he could be a friend of Logan. So Logan in his brain is like, wow, this guy kind of looks like me. So he must be normal. He must have friends. He does not have friends. And, and if he does have friends, they aren't very good friends because any friend would have told him, hey man, don't do that. That's kind of weird. Also, I know you. People gonna know that I know you and then that's gonna be weird and we can't be friends anymore because you out here doing weird shit. That was pretty much, that was pretty much where that video with Logan ended. Um, and you guys saw the video of him crying in the car, but after that video got posted, AJ started posting a lot of like really like weird shit. Beautiful person on TikTok. You have a goal that you woke up and you were thinking of and you want to accomplish it or you got something that you've been wanting to do for years, but everyone's holding your back saying you're going to fall on your face and that makes you upset, but go do it. Go follow your dreams and go accomplish it. But wait, you're afraid that you're going to cry when you fail. Of course, you're going to get upset and you might cry a little bit and you might fail. But guess what? The most important part is getting back up. You got this. And to cry, that's completely normal for a human being to cry. Man, or I just saw the warning. The action in this video could result in serious injury. TikTok put a fucking warning on this video. This is what I'm talking about, toxic positivity. I'm about to start doing videos on toxic positivity too, dude. Okay, this was also very weird. <laughs> Jake Paul made a video and I'm gonna post it. 
damn. What am I gonna do, Logan? <laughs> no, bro. You got a job for me? <laughs> yeah, you're hired, bro. Already. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> I, I texted Love. Yeah, you know, Jay Leon Love, man. You know what it is, man. And I was like, hey, man, this fucked up. But you know what? I was like, is it just me or is he editing this like a David Dobrik style vlog? Like, yeah, he's riding the wave, right? But it's like, I, I'm i like uncomfortable. It gets worse. Like, you know what? I'm going to embrace this shit because people want to make fun of me. I'm going to make fun of myself. Fuck it. If I make, bro, I'm a good looking guy. Good looking guy, bro. You have friends, bro. I need a job. <laughs> Logan, I need a job. Okay, and so then AJ decided to start making vlogs, which I just felt like were weirdly reminiscent of Logan oh, Paul this vlogs. Is my second vlog. Oh, I still haven't got my job back yet. Don't mind the hair. I'm actually about to throw my hat. I have to get my life together. About to clean up my room. <laughs> Um, about to figure out my job situation. Oh. You you telling me he fell asleep in the chain? He fell asleep in the chain? I'm just super fucking tired right now. So let's go. All right, so I'm about to take a shower. Um, I said, I, I said last vlog I was gonna take one, but uh, I just went straight to bed. I was so tired, if you couldn't tell. Um, I am at a house where I have two roommates and he has a dog and it don't stop making noise like a little wiener dog he just all that so these are aj's vlogs which i feel like are like you know if logan paul decided to vlog about his life before he got famous so it's just this this is the vlog this is the vlog guys this is it too cute for jail i'm fucking spiraling his next tiktok okay logan paul i think what would be smart right now and I'm trying to play this smart is so I can gain my thoughts because I, when I was on stage, I wasn't very confident. And um, I, I think I should be on your podcast, Impulsive. Just uh, get this out to Logan Paul or Logan Paul, get your assistant to um, message me. We can talk about this so we can, you know, so I, can, I gain my thoughts. I can, I can, com we can communicate, but that would make a lot of sense to me. This is so fucking out of touch. <laughs> so many talented people that just get in their own heads and they're their own worst enemy. It's like the opposite for this guy. This is just really weird because like just the way he frames it, the tactic is, well, I'm gonna ride this wave, but the things that he's doing are very strange because he's like, Logan, I think you need to get your assistant to reach out to me, get me on the show so we can all talk this out. I think that would be best. Bro, talk what out? Who are you? I don't know. This it's just it's just very delusional. It doesn't even come off as trying to ride the wave. It just, I don't know. I don't know. And Let's see if he says anything. So we can we can get something out there. Just uh so we message can get, me. We can I get appreciate something it. out Bye. there. Okay, Logan Paul. And then he ends the video by like ending it the way that like Logan Paul does his vlogs. I'm going to post because uh, there's a lot of stuff going out and people making fun of me and <laughs> No, I'm not gonna cry. Hey, I quit my job. Bro, I don't give a fuck. Why would he care? Why would Logan Paul care? This is depressingly creepy. I know, it's like a lot. It's a lot. Listen, we do true crime and human behavior, okay? And that is a human behaving and we need to talk about it. Just wanted to put that one out there for you guys so that you, um, you know, maybe you want to keep up with Austin Wallace.